from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello and good morning, everybody. I'm James Tully. Greg D has your forecast coming up in just a couple of minutes. First, here are your headlines. We're waiting to hear from the FBI after agents raided former President Trump's Florida home yesterday. According to a statement from Trump, he declined to say why the FBI agents were at Mar-a-Lago, but said the property is, quote, under siege. Trump was not in Florida at the time of the raid. Three sources familiar with what happened said agents were looking for presidential documents that may be at Mar-a-Lago and some boxes of documents were seized. Law enforcement says the FBI's activities at Trump's compound are court authorized. That means the FBI would have had to present evidence to a federal judge that they have probable cause that a crime or crimes have been committed. The FBI and Justice Department have declined to comment so far. The Olaf ice cream listeria outbreak has now been expanded. The CDC says two more people have become infected since its last update in mid-July. It brings the total to 25 people. Of those 25, 13 live in Florida, while another 10 reported traveling here prior to becoming sick. Yesterday, we told you about early voting kicking off in Hillsborough County. This morning, we want to go over some changes in place this election cycle. You now have to provide either a driver's license number or a Florida ID or the last four digits of your social security number to register for vote by mail ballots. You have until August 13th to register. Also, there is a limit on the number of ballots you can return. You can return your ballot, any of your immediate family's ballots, and only two others who are not in your family. And all Bay Area election officials have sample ballots, voting instructions, and a complete list of important info to help voters prepare to vote. Early voting ends on August 20th. The Sarasota Police Department is going to be keeping an eye on school zones when kids head back to class tomorrow. Officers want to remind drivers there is a zero tolerance policy for speeding in school zones and for passing school buses that have stop signs extended out. Fines for speeding in a school zone and passing a school bus can range from $150 to nearly 500. Sarasota police officers encourage everyone to slow down and allow plenty of time to get to and from your destination. Tampa Bay Rays third base coach Rodney Linares has a chance to showcase his managerial talents on the world stage. Linares has been named the manager of the Dominican Republic team for the World Baseball Classic. He says it's an honor to lead a team that is the early favorite to win the WBC title, considering all the young superstars that will be on the team. Linares has been the Rays third base coach for four seasons, but spent 12 years as a minor league manager before coming to Tampa. He hopes this opportunity can propel his career. The WBC World Baseball Classic will begin in March of next year. Turn things over to Greg D. Good baseball weather out there today, even though we play inside a dome here. <laughs> That's right, uh, James. Uh, lots of uh, dry weather, at least through midday today. And even in the afternoon, not quite as many storms as we saw back yesterday uh, as we trend towards a drier weather pattern for the rest of the week. Today's the transition day. Temperatures in the low 90s. Uh, rain chances yesterday were in that 70 to 80 percent range along the coast. Today, they're going to be down to about uh, 40 to 60 percent. And much of this is going to be after 5 o'clock this evening, so the majority of the morning and the early afternoon looks to be dry. Then as you head out towards the evening commute, look for showers and thunderstorms to increase in coverage, especially along the coast. Drier weather likely for the rest of the week. We've got your seven day forecast coming up.